Fight fans, our second fight of the night scheduled three three minute rounds in our unified amateur middleweight division. Introducing first to my right, the man fighting out of the blue corner. Standing six foot five inches tall, his official weight, 183.8 pounds. His record, one win, no losses, no draws. Fighting out of Canadian Martial Arts Center in Lethbridge, Alberta. Please welcome James Teeson. His opponent across the cage, this man fighting out of the red corner. Standing six foot one inch tall, his official weight, 179.2 pounds. Representing Hayabusa Training Center in Edmonton, Alberta, and tonight making his amateur MMA debut, please welcome Jesse Hinton. The sound of the bell, when the cage door closes, your referee in charge is Andy Social. Andy Social, there he Third man inside of the cage. I think we saw a smile there from him. <laughs> John Ramdeen, Mitch Clark, Aaron Bronstetter, your broadcast team here for Unified MMA 50. And the two fighters touch gloves. Decent in the black shorts. Hard liver kick there from Decent. Hinton in the blue shorts. Spent some time last night with the team from the Canadian Martial Arts Center. Decent was there, really didn't say much. Lee Mian was taking up uh, all the airwaves talking. No way. Uh, he's, you know, he seems to be settled down in his combinations. He knows when I was throwing. He's throwing in combination there. Following up that that, uh, that left with the kick right behind it. It's really nice. It's really well done. And honestly, when I think about mixed martial arts body types, and I look at Thiessen, that's almost the prototype that I look for. Where long. you're long and lean, and you just have this specific look. Those long weapons will come for days. Yeah, just I remember John Hathaway. Beautiful takedown. Uh, Hathaway, and a catch with exactly. Yeah, that was, yeah, like he was so long and lanky, and, but if he got a hold of you, you could easily get a beautiful combination, just forward striking there. Coming from forward. Hinton. Yeah. Which is, you know, Teason really wants to really get his combinations going, and Hinton doing a good job of disrupting that that rhythm, so to speak. Uh, Teason kind of having that very, that Muay Thai where that one, two kick or whatever, you know, and, and, and Hinton seems to be looking to split those down the middle. Nice little kick. Yeah, Hinton coming forward, not afraid, trying to inflict damage. Well, you mentioned the prototype body, but when you're six foot five and you're a middleweight, your, your head is up a lot higher. And oftentimes these taller fighters keep their heads a little bit too high and, and end up paying for it. And I think that's it's true, but it's hard punching here. up. It's hard punching up. So yes, but also you get, it depends how you train, because you get tall man, is what we call it. Beautiful combination from Hinton here. Just non-stop pressure. So what happens is, is in training, these tall fighters get so used, they lean back. They get used to that lean back, because the guy won't touch them, because they're so long. But then we got someone throwing the full commitment, and when they go to lean back, they expose their jaw, like you're saying there. So it's, it depends on the coaches, or like lazy training. Hinton getting a little bit more confident here and throwing in his combinations of split the uh, split the guard of Thiessen, keeping the pressure on him right there. He's just going after it. Hinton smelling the blood in the water, but he has to make sure that he doesn't blow his wad. Really trying to constantly going upstairs. He looks so calm as he's chasing him down. The social's probably looking at this. Of course, Thiessen's like, has the same affliction that I do, where he's very pale. So he shows right. everything that he's hit with, unfortunately. And, but Hinton's on him and making him wear all those shots. And they're turning away, and that's the start of the end. Yeah, and, and you would think that, and Social says that's enough. Too much damage upstairs. And Hinton getting the first round knockout victory here at Unified MMA 50. You know, uh, Tyson looking really good at the off, but uh, Hinton just kept that pressure on him throughout. And like right here, he's just like non-stop action. It's just like, it's very much that amateur boxing that we see, where he's just moving forward, throwing combination, punches, punches, punches. You know, and this is really like when, uh, when we still did, we didn't do 10, 10, 10 round system in boxing. You see this a lot where guys are just, they walk forward and they just try and touch it with the white part of the glove. And this is what led to this style where they're very pressure, moving forward, touching, touching, touching. Because that's all the judges would score, was just that white part of the glove touching in, in amateur boxing. So it was a great job by Hinton. You know, he's looking a little bit, uh, eating some hard body kicks at the beginning, and able to turn around and turn the pressure, pressure cooker up high. Decent, uh, you know, disappointed, but looks no, uh, 
He's not taking it to heart too much. Well, Jesse actually works as a flat roofer, and his bosses are in attendance tonight, and he told me he wasn't worried about not having a job on Monday. Now he definitely doesn't worry about it. He's good, I think. So, you know, it was a good fight, and especially considering, like, combined with one fight. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, like, like you were alluding to earlier, it's uh, the sport's evolving so much, so fast. All right, for the official decision, we'll send it up to Don Andrews. Fight fans, referee Andy Social stops the bout due to strikes. Two minutes, 45 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Jesse Hinton.